Hi, Rob Howard here for EFL Talks, and I'm very happy to have a very special and important person here, Marjorie Rosenberg, who is the current president of Aya Temple. And Marjorie has been an EFL talker from the very beginning. I think this is your third one now, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, something important is we feel that you should know about the organizations that are out there for teachers that are coming up. So Marjorie, thank you so much for being here. And without further ado, I'll let you talk about Aya Temple. Thank you, Rob. So Aya Temple is the International Association of Teachers of English as a Foreign Language. We are now approaching our 50th year, and we're registered as both a charity and a company in the UK with an office in Faversham, Kent. Our mission statement drives what we do. Our activities aim to link, develop, and support English language teaching professionals around the world. It happens through a variety of activities. For example, our annual conference, which is always held in the UK, generally in spring, April, the scholarships we offer to the conference and to other events, to our 16 special interest groups, to newsletters and publications. As you can see here our conference selections, voices, our uh, newsletter that comes out every two months, my TEFL, so six times a year, our online webinars, our discussion groups, our active Facebook page and group, and our Twitter account a monthly e-bulletin which goes to all members to inform them of what's going on, and through the teacher associations around the world. So what can you do at the annual conference? Well, you can come and network with over 2,500 colleagues who come from some 100 countries. You can hear world-class plenary speakers and presenters. There are usually at least 500. Or more talks, workshops, and symposiums. We have an extensive evening program, which is looked at as a social program, uh, comedy evenings, musical evenings, such a kucha, and so on. You can come into the exhibition and the jobs market without registering for the conference. You can be there for free. If you attend sessions, you do have to register. You can exchange ideas with colleagues who come from all different areas of the English language teaching field. You get to have a look at all the latest publications and resources. And if you can't make it in person, you can join the online conference with a live stream sponsored by the British Council. Or you could try applying for a scholarship. What do our special interest groups do? Well, they bring you together with other members who share the same special area of interest. They range from areas such as business English to teaching young learners to learner autonomy to writers. And our newest is SEN and IT, which means special educational needs and inclusive practice. But all 16 are listed on our website so you can have a look and see if any of them are especially interesting for you. The special interest groups give you the chance to get more information, news, and developments in your area. They often have their own online discussion lists and webinars. They produce their own magazines and newsletters and have their own websites. And they also hold events and conferences around the world. IATEFL works very closely with teacher associations as well. And we feel we have positive positively influence them and help them to grow throughout the world. And if you'd like to see where they're located, we're in 91 countries. As far as I know, the latest one was Ecuador. This happened a couple of months ago. We're very happy to be affiliated or associated with these teaching associations or teacher associations and feel they are a vital part of the community. So IATEFL in numbers, 
We have nine members of staff who are employed working in our office in Faversham. Our 16 special interest groups. We've held 50 annual conferences since 1967. Our 51st is coming up in Glasgow in April. 120 teaching associations who are affiliated with us, our associates. Over 4,000 individual and institutional members. Over 1,000 volunteers in our special interest groups, on committees, et cetera, that help keep IATEFL running. Last year, for our 50th conference, we had 52 scholarship winners. We had over 550 speaker sessions, over 2,650 delegates, which was a record for us, and over 40,000 people followed the conference online. What does this all mean? Well, it means contacts and opportunities without limits. Where do our members come from? Well, they live in over 100 countries in every continent, from Australia to Norway, from Poland to Zambia. At the moment, we have a document it's in English on our website about why to attend the conference, what you will get from it, and it's written to help teachers show to their bosses to try and get the time off. We've had it translated so far into about 16 languages, and we are working on getting the rest of the languages of our members done and uploaded on our website as a member service. So, as a summary, IATEFL is a community of practice. It gives you the chance to meet experts from all over the world, to keep in touch with all the latest developments going on, to promote and share your own ideas by presenting, by meeting with people, by being in online discussion groups. And if you'd like to know more, you can simply visit our website at www.iotifl.org, or you can find us on Twitter or on Facebook. I hope to see some of you at an event, at a webinar, at an online session, or perhaps you'll follow our conference online the British Council live stream. Thank you all very much, and goodbye. Uh, Marjorie, that was wonderful. Thank you so much. Right. And I have to say, I was at Birmingham for the last um, international, and it was wonderful. And I've actually joined two of the BSIGs. You know, the opportunities to network and to share with other professionals in the industry is, it's invaluable. And I think you've done a wonderful well, job. One of the most exciting things for me was as we were getting ready to leave, watching colleagues around the world preparing to leave their villages in places like Nepal, being waved off at the airport by family members dressed in traditional clothes, and knowing they were traveling halfway around the world to attend this conference. This was absolutely heartwarming, and then getting to meet them in person. It's wonderful. And even, you know, if you, if you can even join your locals, you have, um, let me say, I think it was 91 countries, uh, right? Yes. Yep, um, I believe it was. In 91 countries. Some countries have more than one. Germany has about six, for example. I really encourage everybody, join your local chapters and try and apply for the scholarships and go to Glasgow. Yes, or get involved in the association yes. so you can come as a representative of your association. Take part in the Associates Day. This is an incredible opportunity for people. There's so many things that can be done, and we're always looking for members who want to get involved in a variety of ways. Wonderful. Thank you for giving me the well, time to talk about IATFL, Rob, something dear to my heart. Um, I know, and you do a great job, and we're so thankful that you took the time out. I know you're busy to share this with everybody. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Okay. Thanks. You Bye too. Bye, and see you soon.